going to look at some of the comments today. I've, I did a bunch of videos like this in the past. And I've been receiving some requests to do it again. Admittedly, I haven't really been actively looking at the comments in probably six or eight months now because I've just had other things I needed to be paying attention to. I'm slowly starting to get back to the point where I can look at them again, but it's still going to be some time before I, I catch up. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these comments and hopefully they're not too bad. So, uh, starting off we have a comment that just says Hawaiian Breeze. Does the KXT Let's see what this is. I'm pretty sure I've done videos on that before. I'm almost certain I've done videos on that set before. Perhaps not. Huh. Well, if I've never done a video on it, then I don't know what the ringers is. I have no idea. I would I would guess that they are, but I I'm not completely certain. Uh a screwdriver? Good golly. I really do like the, the filigree side band models. It makes it look so much more fancy than just the basic the basic ones. You can't adjust the settings before taking the picture. No, actually you can't. You can't make any changes to anything. Or just live with taking one and then power cycling to take another. That may be the single most absurd suggestion I've ever received from that entity. What a ridiculous suggestion. Oh, here we go with the door cell batteries again. Yep, that makes about sense. Five years and they'll be leaked beyond all recognition. stupid door so I, I don't use them for anything anymore. What a joke of a battery. What am I going to do with it? Move air. That's what fans are for. Yeah, very comical. What? Cali Ephraim a co art
Yeah, we would be, and it would be much better. Very recently, at least where I am, the Verizian has finally terminated the broadcast of the CDMA and 3G, and I would assume 2G as well, networks. It's really a shame, um, but they're going around here. It will be like in the last couple of weeks, very recently. These things aren't bad, but I must prefer vintage over this because even though a 370 there's a great air mover. Well, I wouldn't say it's a great air mover, but for the price, I think it's satisfactory. Yeah, me too. A lot of fans that want to get installed. I gotta fix the fix some of the wiring in the attic and then add the add the boxes into the into the hallway to the end rooms. You know, all, all these older hunters were really powerful fans. Really, some of the best fans we saw in the 90s, for sure. Yeah, I agree. I think they're kind of underrated because they're just like, they're not economy grade, but they're kind of like, they're a little bit bland, I think, to most people. But I like basic bland products because most of them just plain work. What? Yeah, I do watch Steve Levin here. He's a good tech. I don't understand. Like, what's the point of leaving a comment if you don't care enough about the video or you're not interested enough in the video to even watch it? If you watch the video, you would know that you can't operate the menu. So therefore, you can't go to the factory reset option. No, it's not the SD card. Yeah, they're cheap, but they seem to last just fine. Really, most of the Lasco fans do, by some miracle.
Let's see what model camera this is. That's that would be a uh, a satisfactory model. Looks like the right form factor I'm looking for. The only problem is if I get another camera, like a different model, then I gotta get uh, all new batteries and everything. Which for uh, you know, considering the age on this stuff, it's going to get harder to find the batteries. Oh, that's got three batteries. Ironically, the knockoff ones have a flame symbol as the company logo. I'll say it only has 5x, 5x zoom. That's not very much. Now, I mean, that's kind of, you know, what I'm looking for. <sighs> well, you want the 10x zoom. Not good. Okay, I'll give that a shot. I don't know what that is. A nice camera and maybe the software. I have used a Fujifilm camera. I have one. It's terrible. I would never buy another Fujifilm camera. Um, 60 beans for this thing. At this age, that's kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't bought a camera in a very long time, but I would think at this point in time, these should be very cheap. I would expect these cameras to be less than a hundred hours. Huh, not good. Maybe it's a common problem with these. In that case, I would be hesitant to buy another one because it may develop the same thing. Okay. This video is quit astrag and... Is that even spelled correctly? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not really sure how this is, the video is a dragon that's relevant in many ways. Okay then. Well, I have several batteries. Um, oh, I mean, for that, yeah. Uh. No, this is, this is a camera from 15 years ago. There's no, there's no updating firmware. This is how you can always tell when it's, children writing the comment because it's there's like no understanding of things from more than 15 years ago does not have AA batteries oh I don't see why you couldn't just do that with the lithium battery
Just a joke uh, from something at work. What knob? Something nutcase about this person. Fuzzy nutcase. The whole phone on the wall. What? Wait to see the whole phone on the wall? What? F huh? What? Are the, what? I don't usually hang half the phones on the wall. This must be another toxic child. I don't understand what ails these people, really. Yep, it looks looks like another out of control child on the internet. And the thumbnails look fairly decent. You could skip this ad, but don't skip the part that can help you get the job done. That Granger. It's a slideshow. No, it's a blurry Vertican video with no tripod. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was expecting. Oh gosh. This is unusual. Typically these these channels don't uh contain reasonable fiends. They're usually all like just cheap modern junk. These are some nice fiends, but I mean, they're all just like blurry vertical videos with no tripod, and of course, there's there's a major attitude problem. This isn't really a video about weather. I guess he or she is just implying that it's wet. Hi, hello, greetings. It's just a comment. Have you tried to clean the processor? It might, it may be that a RAM memory slot is not working for that reason. I have the same notebook, only that instead of mine being A15, Mine is a ten one 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 seven seven. I hate when people try to troubleshoot computers and they don't understand the computer. Cleaning the processor chip should have nothing to do with the memory slot. This doesn't even make any sense. Yes, I did. I uploaded it twice. Sometimes things get more views the second time you upload them. That's cap. <laughs> it's funny, this, this whole reverse ceiling fans thing was like a major blowout like 10 years ago, uh, there was a particular user who I'm not going to mention here because it serves no purpose. We all know who they are, but this particular user, he or she would go around and and just pester people to death about why is the ceiling fan running on reverse? And, oh no, it's going to fall from the ceiling because it's running on reverse. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is not the user that did that. It just reminded me of, of that. 
looking good ceiling fan. So now we're talking to ceiling fans. Okay. In Singapore is known as Erisoyama if I'm not wrong. No idea. Those are good heaters. Very good heaters. Hmm. Yeah, I figured as much because I use YouTube on multiple different computers and I have the problem on multiple different computers. What? Probably not. I mean, how many years ago was that? It was dead anyways. I think it may have quit because of all that debris or crud on the keyboard, trackpad, and handrests. Some of it may have got inside the motherboards and short out of circuit or something that could. It probably just broke because all of their laptops were absolute trash in the Vista era and on, and they constantly failed for absolutely no reason. I remember those coming to the shop all the time. Boards just dead. It's funny, I actually have a lot of nostalgia to those those trashy HP units because when I first started working in computers, a lot of people had those. They were very common. And they just they just died. <laughs> As it was abysmal. Okay, so how do you place it correctly? I hate it. Probably the fan motor seized on the Kenmore dehumidifier. Again, why post a comment if you don't have enough interest in the video to even watch it because the 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 videos on this dehumidifier this particular dehumidifier show me taking the fan out and it's spinning freely this entity has left a bunch of nonsensical HVAC related comments If music is faster and different, then it's like it's not the same.
you probably do. These things are sold under a million different names. It was ridiculous. You know, I usually do that too, unless I paid someone two thousand dollars to do it for me. Never again will I deal with, will I uh, do that. There's actually been a number of uh, requests to show a video on that heat pump, and I need to uh, I need to clean it because I've never cleaned it since I moved in. If you may another video of the deck, can you make videos of in inhaling phones? No, because I might suffocate. Why would I inhale phones? But that was uh that was this video that I coined it on. <laughs> oh, well you know what I didn't show I guess that's what he's saying. I didn't uh I didn't show like the actual cleaning of the like f doing physically doing the cleaning Not good. Yeah, I'm 
much more skeptical on there than I used to be. Are you doing the same thing to your mainstays, mainstays backs fan? Doing what? Right now I'm using the computer answering comments. I find a lot of the older Sears and Kenmore stuff was really good. That's just stupid. I don't know what all this mumbo jumbo is. It's not even worth the time to read it. I'm going to have to pick up those tubes next time I'm over there at that old location. Okay then. Pretty sure the bowls are all the same color, but who knows. I think that was a case where I bought some Nakua filters. I mean, it's really hard to say. In one sense, you can. Um, sometimes you can tell the difference in the air quality, and sometimes you can't. You know, it's really kind of subjective. IN number 10 when the house phone rings. Keep That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make sense. I just sent it to a stupid jerk. That doesn't make sense either. They've been drying. Uh, they've been wet for almost a week. You know, if they was wet for 10 minutes, maybe, but it's not worth it. Carpeting in the basement is not the greatest idea since, as you can see, it does not allow the foundation floor to breathe and the ground moisture is high and the water table rises. Hmm. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's a good point. I've never lived in a house with a wet basement, so this is, this is kind of new to me. That makes perfect sense. Um, and I think what I may have to do is is revise um, revise the way that I have the carb not necessarily to not have it but set it up in such a way that it doesn't go under anything so that when it rains and if it continues to get damp down there I can just roll it up and put it upstairs until it dries out rather than leaving it there and then it gets wet and whatever like it to this time
Make sure the watermelon on the counter is always gone because we don't want the spoiled watermelon. Seriously? What do you think it's going to come back? <laughs> okay. That sound is normal because the anti jam breaker cuts on with the disposer. What sound? <sighs> That's just trashy spam. Sick of it. I can't tell you how many videos this has showed up on. Yeah, it's classic Apple. I absolutely hate their stuff, especially their more recent stuff. It's just abysmal trash. The programming is so glitchy and unstable, and it, it's just baffling to me. It's beyond comprehension how an operating system that works on like four different pieces of hardware can be so blaring unstable. Meanwhile you have stuff like Windows that can run on tens of thousands of different configurations and it's generally pretty stable. Like this computer hasn't crashed in years. Never have a problem with it. And I have tons of pieces of software on here that I use compared to that stupid Apple computer. And iMovie is a program that even comes with it. It's not even like it's a third party thing. It comes with the system and it still don't even work right. Apple stinks. It is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Was any portion of this video comprehended? Any portion of it? You know, it is, there's definitely a consistency of that kind of driving with the, with the more expensive cars. And that particular model as well, I've noticed that. Why on earth would they do that when it's that cold out? Not good. And six uh, six hours is way too long to go without power when it's that cold.
That's wild. <laughs> this, I think, that, that negative six night, that was probably the coldest I ever remember it being. And I know a couple years ago we had a bunch of nights that were that were down cold, you know, at zero or a couple of notches above it. It's very, very seldom that this area gets down below zero much less several degrees below zero. That was unusual. It depends on the area. Certain areas, like um, there's a there's a street not too far where I live, from where I live, that has almost every business imaginable, every type of business imaginable uh, on the road. Then you get to other parts, and stuff is more spread out. There's a lot of mixed uh, mixed urban and rural areas around here, and I think that kind of is what causes it to be more broken up than it is in other parts of the country. Yeah, that was that was nasty call. I didn't even leave the house and it was like that. It was crazy. Alright, I'm getting tired. I think that's going to be enough. Enough for tonight. Um, some of these comments are stupid, but it wasn't too bad this time. Alright, I'm going to cut it off here. We got through five days, and it's better than nothing. <laughs>